Hockey News for 2016 and 2017. Where Country Meadow students are striving to be leaders. This is your Hawk News team signing on. Watch! Good morning and welcome to Mom, Why Am I Off Break Monday. Here's the second Hawk News team. I'm Riley. I'm Joey. I'm Ariana. <coughs> And I'm Becca. Here's highlights from the cross country meet. Watch. Keep, come on. Nice job. We welcome Mrs. Reynolds to CME as our new counselor. Let's learn more about her. Watch. Hi, Mrs. Reynolds. Did you come from another school? I did come from another school. I was at uh, actually two elementary schools last year in Columbia City, uh, Little Turtle Elementary and Coessie Elementary. That's cool. Where? That is in Columbia City, which is in Whitley County, which is probably maybe 45 minutes from here. Okay, thank you. Did you know you can buy cola flavored Cheetos in Japan? Ew, that's disgusting. Teachers, watch out! We've got the scoop on you. We are going to interview Mrs. Passwater how she wants to be remembered. Watch. Hi, Ms. Passwater. How do you want to be remembered? A couple years ago, Mrs. Myers made the comment that I was like the child whisperer. And at the time, I was really into watching, um, and I can't remember his name, but he was the dog whisperer. It was some guy on TV. And I thought, that is such a cool statement, you know, because I respected this, this gentleman who was the dog whisperer. And I thought, oh, child whisperer, that's kind of a cool way to, uh, to think about yourself. And uh, since I knew what the dog whisperer was like, when Miss Myers said something, I thought, hmm, I kind of like that. So, I guess as the child whisperer. Is that all? Yes. Thank you. Today for lunch we are having hamburger, shoestrings, french fries, apricots, and don't forget that mom why is break over box of milk. Today's weather is just look outside and you'll see. Today we are interviewing Bailey in Mrs. Dunn's room about something that happened to her that was funny. Watch. Students. <laughs> hey Bailey, can you tell us about that time that something funny happened to you? Um, yes. There, um, I was at Burger King with my mom, and I didn't wear a belt, and I had pants on that were too big for me, and they fell off. Here's the first part of the mystery. Watch. sixth season of Hawk News Mysteries. This year's mystery will bring you on the spine, will bring you spine tingling clues and lead you on a journey full of suspense. Sit back and find clues that will help you solve our new installment of The Mystery of the Creeping Letters. Episode 1 takes place in the Hawk's Nest, where our Hawk News detectives have just finished their time relaxing. Let's watch a new mystery unfold. Here. I better te teacher drop them. Let's look. Nobody there. Whoa, look at this. They're going up the wall. How did that happen? These letters don't even spell anything. Right, they're just random. You can't just drop letters and have them crawl up the wall, right? Really? Just asking. Alexis, start taking pics in case this turns into a mystery. Okay. <gasps> oh, I think we have a mystery. Stop! What? We need to talk to you. About what? The letters on your back. 
Letters? Yes, the letters that are on your back. Alexis, did you get a shot of the letters? No, sorry. Turn around and we'll show you. What? what? Just a minute ago, there are letters on your back. So where'd they go? You're not making any sense. Come on, Molly. <gasps> hey! Here's what we're talking about. What is this? The letter G. We know that. How did it get on your back? No idea. Are there more? Nope. But look, Molly has this. Where did that come from? Exactly. Did you leave that letter mess all over the floor by the teacher's lounge? I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, Molly. Look, the letters. Let's follow them. They're leading into the music room. Nothing. It's a dead end. Wait a minute, turn off the lights. I have my ultraviolet flashlight. We might find something. <gasps> All right, I think we do have a mystery. Let's follow them. Look, there goes someone. Got it. Let's get him. They're gone. Where could they have gone? I don't know, but look at this. This is strange. Look how the letters come down to here, C-L. What do you think that means? Let me take a picture of this. C-L, C-L. Maybe, Jiggy Little, like the sky is falling, like letters falling out of the sky? I don't think so, but I also think we have a mystery here. What do you think, Country Meadow? What's with all the random letters? First on the floor outside the teacher's lounge, then on the backs of Lauren and Molly. The letters G and O. And who's the mystery person heading down the hallway? What does CL mean? Maybe creeping letters? Hmm. Stay tuned for part two of